we, we just really want to show that sweet snacking can be indulgent and not be bad for you. And so we're really trying to show how you don't have to sacrifice health, you uh, uh, don't have to sacrifice flavor. You can merge those two. Hey, Alphabet family, I'm so excited that we are here. Isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. But we're here with Lena. I told you guys, okay, listen, I just want to run through all the awards she's won. <laughs> because I met her at a vending event for health and wellness. She had the spread out and I was like, what is this? It was beautiful, it was like dates. She won the Eunice Youth and Social Entrepreneurship Fellowship. I was like, yes, the G20 Young Global Changers. She was a Save the Children International Migration Young Scholar. And just recently, just recently, you guys, the Ford Foundation, her impact pitch competition. She plays. So I'm so excited for that, that we get to get to her because she's doing big things. And I need you to learn about her date spread because it's just so tasty and so sweet. And it has a huge initiative that we need to get behind. So without further ado, we're going to speak with Lena. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, for, for being so excited. Your energy is contagious. Yes. I am excited about this because you're doing big things and we need to know about it. You know, my hair's blowing in my face. But anyway, okay, so here's the thing. Before we even get started, Lena has a beautiful name that I can't pronounce correctly and I don't want to mess it up because your name is your power. So I just want you to say your full name and explain the origin. Yeah, my, my full name is Lina Zdruli um, and the last name comes from Albania. I was born in Albania and when I was about two and a half years old, I moved to the U.S. and then I grew up Italy, U.S. and Canada, so did a lot of traveling oh as a my child. Gosh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> See how she said Estruli? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay, well, we want to talk about your date spread. I want to know your story and where this all started because I don't know anyone who just loves dates <laughs> and anyone who said you know what we should have a spread company <laughs> like how did you even get there walk us through your story yeah so my my journey to Duff Pharaoh came through uh, personal health recognition I fainted twice from stomach pain and uh, the first time came I tried to stay on a healthy diet. There was really nothing that I, that was pleasurable to eat that I could follow. So I just started eating regular foods again and mm -hmm. it happened again. At the second time I realized there was, I had to take care of my health. This is, <laughs> this can't keep happening. Oh my God. Um, and so I had to go basically vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, uh, no sugars, nothing processed. It was an elimination diet and then you, mm -hmm. you slowly start to reintroduce the food to understand what happens. And that's a lot of people go through this process when they don't know what what happens. Absolutely. And in, Did you see a doctor? Did they tell you what you had? They actually never knew. <laughs> I did, I, I did, I, I did a, a like a endoscopy and the whole study and the doctor suggested to go on this complete elimination diet and then okay. slowly reintroduce things because they couldn't identify and pinpoint one specific things and also the stomach is called the second heart. It's also a very emotional organ yeah. so when, when you're not eating exactly how you should and you're stressed out mm -hmm. the two com the the combo is unreal oh my god and what i had gone on uh trips abroad to the to the middle east and i had five kilos of dates with me at home it's like 10 over more than 10 pounds 12 pounds almost of dates and i i love them i was eating them one by one but i also i got tired i mean i wanted other things oh and I started experimenting and I made this this whole bra protein brownie with just a date spread, protein pea powder and uh, cacao powder. Oh. And it tasted amazing. And my colleagues, I was still working at the World Bank, my colleagues finished it, my housemates, everyone, and they couldn't believe that there was no added sugars. And so I told them, but you guys, you know, this was for me because I'm the one. <laughs> <laughs> and it was healthy. You had no problems digesting no, it. No, no, not, none at all. It was, it was, and it, it was so good that I couldn't stop eating it. Everyone else couldn't stop eating it. I did a couple other things like pancakes and other foods, always mm -hmm. with dates. I didn't know it was dates spread at the time, but that's that's what it ended up being. Um, and once people kept finishing, you know, I'm 
I was busy working profession. I didn't have that much time to bake. Yes. I looked online and I tried to buy buy this online. And the only to date spreads I could find were imported, so they weren't made fresh, and they were had added sugars and added preservatives, which were things that I couldn't eat in the first place. Oh. And I thought, how crazy is that? And so. Uh, housemate as a joke said um, not as a joke but as just casually saying you know Lena you're all about refugee employment that's yes. what I was working on at the World Bank that's what I wrote I wrote my master's thesis on it's been mm. my life's work for two years <laughs> refugee employment yeah refugee employment specifically yes and oh. and basically reintegration into society and self-reliance oh. and so he jokingly said you know Lena why don't you get refugee women in the area to make date spread and so that's, that's a great idea <laughs> that's though. literally how it started as a as a pure like social impact base how can we help a couple people on employment in the community ah. so you kind of married both of the things that you really like to do yes exactly Your health. Which you seem fine now. Yes. You haven't had any more episodes. No, not in like two years. Since the fair. <laughs> since you changed your diet. <laughs> That's great. And then your refugee work. Yes. Okay, well then you have to explain more about the initiative. Because a lot of people don't understand yeah. um, the, the struggles or what happens with women when it's time for them to get work. And what they need to do to be, you know, integrate into, I guess, Western culture or yeah so what our our focus now has broadened from just refugee women to uh, vulnerable women in general oh. so now we are uh, also include trafficking victims and always exploring new NGO partnerships either homelessness or uh, domestic abuse um, and what we really want to promote is their self-reliance Oh, so you're teaching them to make this? Yes. Right? You so employ we, them? Yes, exactly. So right now we employ them and are building an apprenticeship system so they can also have more formal on-the-job training so that they can potentially reintegrate into other jobs if they want to move into different types of employment. Mm -hmm. And um, with the uh, company resources, we've also created a life skills mobile application. Wow which uh, we give for free to all NGO partners worldwide. We're translating it right now in five different languages. Wow. Um, but basically on the, on the app, you find uh, financial literacy, health and hygiene, nutrition, and women's health. And they just get this app and it helps them walk through whatever. Exactly. What we did is we took some of the most accredited sources mm -hmm. internationally on these topics and then we reprocessed them in a way that anyone can, can learn it. Basically, it's meant for, let's say, a lower literacy uh, initial integration phase. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Why don't you put date spread with it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, now you have to talk to us about yes. this spread. So. What is it for? What can we do with it? You know, I've seen other products. You had like wedding something yes, on the website. We, so, tell yeah. us about it. So this is our the very first uh, product that we came up with, date spread. We called the OG because it was the first <laughs> flavor that we came up with. Um, and it's the original flavor. So it's completely no sugar added. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful used on its own. For example, dipping uh, nuts and apple slices Ooh. in it or adding it to breakfast foods, toast, pancakes, uh, yogurt, bowls, mm. oatmeal. Uh, awesome for wine and cheese night oh. with some brie. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. And, um, but the cool thing is you can also use it as an ingredient uh, and a substitute for other things. For example, uh, in ingredient in foods like brownies or cake, uh, fruit cakes like banana mm. bread or carrot cake oh. you can use it instead of the eggs and so it's perfect for vegan baking because you can use it as a binder mm -hmm. for um, these type of more moist dense oh. cakes oh. as well as substituting part or all of the sugar in the case of the brownie it's all of the sugar for example Really? Yeah. And it's probably still really sweet. Yes, it still tastes super sweet. The cool thing is the dates soak up 
the flavor of what you give it give it to and mm -hmm. so when you have it mixed with other flavors it really enhances like the cacao it it's more flavorful oh wow so you have the og yes <laughs> and then what other flavors the do other have? two flavors we have are uh, cinnamon bun which is, is a mix of nutmeg mm -hmm. uh Indonesian cinnamon, which I went to Indonesia myself to source. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, it sourced some of the the best quality cinnamon. I mean, you can you can smell that when we open the packet, you can smell it from like 30 feet away. Oh my god! <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's really amazing spice, uh. and then uh, nutmeg. Ah, oh, right in time for the holidays. Yes, it's really nice. And then we also have brownie batter flavor, which mm -hmm. is the date spread, the original one with organic cacao powder. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm just gonna eat it out of the jar. <laughs> We've <laughs> had a lot of empty jar. People come uh, up like, this happened in two days. You didn't warn me. Oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna put it on anything. Oh wow, that is so great. Yeah. Okay, well, you're gonna have to tell us where do we find you? Where do we get this? Because we want to be a partner. Yes. How do we do? So here in DC, we have a phenomenal partner with the Made in DC stores. They've been so wonderful to be our first retail location and really giving us a chance in stores. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we are uh, also online at dafero.com. We ship nationally everywhere. And uh, we're also on Etsy. We love that they do carbon offset for uh, oh. shipping packages. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, so we're also on Etsy, which is a bit unconventional but we think it's such a wonderful platform it's a B Corp <gasps> see now you guys got to link up <laughs> <laughs> and can we follow you yes of course we're on Instagram at Dafero dates that's d-a-f-e-r-o dates uh, Facebook is the same um, and everyone is always welcome to <laughs> message me I'm the one who answers all the Instagram she really is <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um, <laughs> the, the website, um, dafero.com. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, the last thing you're going to have to tell us, what does dafero mean? How did you come up with it? Yeah, this, uh, I, in the, the search for the name ended at 4 a.m. after a lot of frustration <laughs> of having everything and no marketing background. We had the product website, everything. I was like, what to name it? And uh, let's just say I learned everything about the etymology of dates <laughs> and every possible origin. And something that I really thought brought out the, the origin of the, the company is da ferro, which comes from dactyl ferro, which is the Greek origin of the date palm. Oh. So it's, it's a historical um, uh, origin, but also ferro means to be a bridge, to bring forth, to to connect and so we thought of it as a connector between business and social good good health but great taste oh you guys did good yeah. <laughs> at 4 a.m <laughs> well, well you were probably delirious. it started at like two <laughs> <laughs> okay we have some night owls they're doing great things well, we, well that makes sense that's why we've got the skyline <laughs> she's alive at night Okay, well, you're gonna have to leave us with some final words. Health of your family, this is great. This is one of my favorite interviews so far because, Yay. wow, look at this initiative. <gasps> okay, tell us your final words you want people to think about and know. This is about you or the company of the day. Yeah, we, we just really want to show that sweet snacking can be indulgent and not be bad for you. And so we're really trying to show how you don't have to sacrifice health, you uh, uh, don't have to sacrifice flavor. You can merge those two as well as have a positive outcome with the products that you're buying and hopefully other companies will follow suit as well. That'd be That's our dream, really. Yay! Okay, well, thank you so much. Tell the kid family you need to follow. She's doing great things, and I see you need to see all these orders <laughs> for Christmas. If you want to get me something, I want the cinnamon. <laughs> Just putting that out there, so send it to me. So, yay, thank you so much thank for being you. here. Like, share, tell someone else about it. This is a really good company. Go ahead, DC. See you next Sunday.